Minister, we're facing an economic catastrophe across the Midlands in 53 days uh, when the public service obligation runs out. And we need a clear, unambiguous statement from government reiterating its support for the co firing of the two peat fired power stations in Lanesborough and Shannon Bridge with both peat and biomass. And the Minister must immediately call in the Chief Executives of both Board Namona and the ESB to get absolute clarity on the intention to submit a new planning application uh, for West Offaly Power and to deal with the 3 million tonnes of mill peat that is currently on our bogs. First of all, just to thank the Deputy for, for raising this question, which is obviously a very important uh, question. I have met the Chief Executive of both companies uh, since that decision of onboard Planola, and indeed uh, I am in regular contact with uh, them and uh, with their boards uh, with regard to the West Offaly Power Station. Um, I have met with public representatives, you know, worker directors, Board Namona, the Midlands Regional Transition Team, the Regional Skills Forum. I have also met with uh, representatives of the Congress of Trade Unions uh, and the Board Namona Group of Unions and indeed uh, the European Commission. Uh, and it is all with a view to um, planning the best outcome that we, we can. Uh, as outlined uh, before, uh, the ESB is considering, continuing to consider the Board, board Planola decision that has been issued. Uh, I think it is no secret that that was uh, a very strong decision in the way it was framed. Uh, nonetheless, it has been government strategy that we would have co-firing to 2028, but we now must be in a position to uh, plan for contingencies that that might not occur. And I think that is the backdrop to the considerable work that has gone on since July with the formation of a group within the Taoiseach's office to uh, develop uh, a just transition approach. Uh, the work that was announced by my colleague um, Pascal Donoghue last week in the, in the budget, uh, which includes measures the Just Transition Fund, the Bog Restoration Rehabilitation Fund, uh, the new model to deliver uh, group housing upgrades, which will be uh, concentrated in the Midlands and will support alternative employment retraining and reskilling of workers and support local communities and businesses in the Midlands to adjust to a low carbon transition. Uh, so we are continuing to uh, consult uh, and as I've indicated I will be appointing a just transition commissioner to assist me in the work so that we can liaise with the various uh, bodies at local level to ensure that uh, this work is done in the most effective way possible. Minister, uh, thank you for your response and I acknowledge the uh, announcement in the budget last week. I announce, acknowledge the work that is being done uh, on the just transition and that is very welcome. But specifically, Minister, my question to you is, on the 26th of July, uh, the Taoiseach uh, stated with regard to Board Namona workers that there would be no job losses until the end of 2020. Now, Minister, I want an answer from you regarding the seasonal workers in Bordnamona, because at present there is no work available for them next year. So they need assurances now. And the only way that those assurances can be provided is from the Chief Executive of both the ESB and Bordnamona. And I believe that you need to bring both the individuals before you. Secondly, Minister, can I ask you, you announced on the 2nd of October with Minister Creed that you are going to plant 15,000 hectares uh, of cutaway uh, bog, and that is very welcome. But can you confirm to me that it will be Board Namona staff that will actually carry out uh, that planting and not contractors to be brought in? Thank you, Carl, and I appreciate the opportunity to, to speak on this issue. <coughs> I mean, I say, notwithstanding last week's announcement in relation to the provision of revenue within the carbon tax towards a just transition fund, that is, of course, towards the regions, towards the localities, towards the communities who have been affected by the loss of uh, jobs in this area over the last number of years, not only in recent weeks or in recent years. But I think, Minister, the number of the question here is the PSO public service obligation payment expires in the coming weeks. Uh, there is no price, we believe, set between ESB and Board Namona in the absence of that PSO. Uh, the carbon credits and the costs associated with those have multiplied by four since ESB belatedly only hedge fund up to six months in advance. So next year is the last year by which they can uh, burn peat alone. You say it is government policy to co-fuel, yet you have not insisted on ESB 
uh, seeking a judicial review to the decision in relation to, 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 to Lanes. I don't think it's fair, appropriate or right just to say they are still considering. The day for considering has come to an end. It's time for decisions to be taken. It's time for people to be straight. It's time for you, your department, ESB and Board of Mona to be straight with me as a representative of those that I represent and the workforce in order to ensure that progress is made and that the prospects Minister, of those please. involved yes. are, are, are seen to and engaged with in order to see where Minister. we're going from here. Yeah, well, I thank the Deputy for his question. I, mean, I have attempted to be as straight as possible with everyone and met all of the bodies involved. Uh, and, you know, I've also been straight on the question of judicial review. Uh, judicial review uh, would require a failure of procedure. It's different from considering whether a fresh planning application could succeed. And it is that issue that is being evaluated by ESB, whether a fresh application could succeed, not the issue of judicial review. Uh, the, the issue of um, Bordnamona managing this transition, we are looking at uh, accelerated uh, rehabilitation of the bogs owned by Bordnamona as a way of providing additional work opportunities, but we're also, as we've announced in the budget, looking at additional uh, restoration of bogs uh, by other uh, by, on bogs that are not owned I, by Board of Mona that would provide work opportunities well suited to uh, the skills of those uh, in Board of Mona. In addition, we are uh, going to deliver the Midlands uh, aggregated scheme for retrofitting. So we are seeking to make sure that we work with the companies involved, both ESB and Board of Mona, to make sure between their efforts at diversification and developing new outlets and the efforts that we are uh, putting in that we will secure a just transition for the workers involved. Thank you, uh, Minister. If I could have answers to the, the two questions regarding the seasonal workers and a surety regarding work for them uh, next year, uh, and also who will be carrying out the planting uh, of the, the uh, forestry as announced in the joint venture between uh, Board Namona and the ESB. And finally, Minister, can I ask you? My understanding is that Board Namona is now borrowing on a day-to-day -day basis uh, to pay salaries. If that is the case, where are they going to get money to carry out the rehabilitation that is required on their box? And will the state and the government provide financial assistance to them, as the state did in the past with Onpost? Thank you. Deputy Cowan. Minister. Notwithstanding the rehabilitation issue, which of course will follow suit in the event of uh, no excavation taking place beyond next year, beyond the contract, are you aware <coughs> of a post-PSO PSO scenario in relation to the pricing of, of peat between uh, Bournemouth and ESB? Are you aware of the costs associated with carbon credits, credits to be paid for by Bournemouth? If you are aware, can you give a commitment to the Dáil that there is Within that formula, there still is the, the, the potential to harvest and to burn and to co-fuel beyond next year, uh, beyond the licence that they have presently, if after a resubmission uh, permission is forthcoming. Notwithstanding the fact that I said earlier, it is incumbent on, on, on you, I think, to, to, to vocally uh, reiterate the commitment that is government policy, contract to what, contrary to what Antashka might say, that it is, it is government policy that, and others should follow, rather than you, the likes of Tashko leading and the government following. Uh, Minister, to respond finally, please. Look, I, first of all, I am very conscious that these are independent commercial bodies, and I, I do not direct them to do uh, various things, and they have responsibilities themselves to their workers and to their stakeholders and uh, to, 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 to their financial uh, soundness. Of course, they continue to work uh, with one another to secure uh, a strong commercial relationship. But in addition to that, I recognise that, for example, for seasonal workers, we do need to be anticipating uh, accelerated work on, on the uh, bogs, and that's why we are looking to uh, work with Board Namona to see how that work will be funded. Uh, accelerated work uh, on restoration of bogs will provide very useful oppor opportunities. Uh, the issue that the Deputy raised regarding um, the uh, planting of trees, I, will, uh, I have already brought that to the attention of uh, the companies involved to see are there opportunities uh, there. Uh, so I'm working with the companies who have their, uh, you know, both commercial and other constraints, uh, but I'm seeking to ensure that 
uh, through all fronts, including working with the European Commission, which has recognised uh, peace as part of the uh, coal transition uh, network uh, to see that we can provide the necessary supports to deliver a just transition. Thank I'm not Minister. underestimating in any way the challenge of this, but I am seeking to work uh, with all of those involved to try and deliver as best an outcome right. as we Thank can here. Thank you very much. Question 46.